Hey everybody, Josh here. I'm the instructor at Course Groups for the IT course. And then I have uh, Alex here, who's a kind of recent-ish Course Careers graduate, and they recently got a job as well. So thanks so much for coming on. Of course, of course. Glad to be here. Yeah, super, super appreciate it. So what did you do before you started with Course Careers and before you started with IT? Ah, I love one of my favorite questions. So <laughs> for the past 20 years, I have been a personal trainer and martial arts instructor. So, oh. um, yeah, like, and I love it. Like, uh, I still love it to this day. Um, but 2020 hit mm. and living in New York City it hit us big because we were on lockdown. And for someone like me who has to be in person all the time that definitely was difficult to say the least prior to all that happening i was already thinking about transitioning only because you know you do this so long my body was starting to tell me things that it wasn't telling me when i was in my <laughs> 20s <laughs> so gotcha. at some point i i told myself i'm like i told myself if you know I'd rather be preemptive and start thinking about a career change rather than almost being forced out either due to injury or anything. So oh, I, I don't, man. I don't operate that way. I always kind of think a couple steps in advance. So it was around that time I decided, you know, let me enroll in a, in a boot camp. So in 2021, I enrolled uh, at a boot camp. It was a part-time accelerate, did three stacks, Python, Java, and JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And in that time, yeah, I, I loved it. I also realized, at least for someone like me, I realized there was still more I wanted to learn, not just mm. like to also know the, the, the why and somehow the, all the, the hows and all, all that stuff behind it. So it wasn't until maybe a month prior to graduation, I started looking into, you know, where can I possibly pursue a degree in this and preferably online. Mm -hmm. And that's how I initially ran into a lot of your stuff. Oh, Because really? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, 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 ended up, I ended up enrolling at WGU for the cloud computing bachelors. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that, yeah. I'm in that right now. So like I love a lot of your strategies and just i i like that everything's structured so i i work really well when there's there's plans so mm -hmm. uh, i i did that and you know i wasn't really actively looking for positions yet and then i guess around november of 2022 is when i decided you know now it's time to start now i'm ready to start throwing my resume out there mm -hmm. seeing where i get any bites i think i guess on your youtube is when the whole course careers it thing came out mm -hmm. and i looked at that and because you know wgu you, you know this like like their first couple of classes is basically it versus like until you get into like the actual class of like so a plus and you know net plus and security plus so uh your course i mean i remember looking at it and saying oh good there here here's another <laughs> something else i could do that where i could actually apply stuff so like mm -hmm. i think the, the the hard part with a lot of the wgu stuff I, and you probably know is that it's very it's all theoretical like it's like even their labs are all right but you mm -hmm. your 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 stuff was just you know i i can't believe in like a month i'm like i'm very well aware of how to you know use azure and use a virtual machine and active directory and a help desk ticketing system all in a matter like i sped through your thing. like <laughs> I, I was one of those it was i just kept going until i was done so in december i think i when i rolled <laughs> i finished that whole the entire thing in like three weeks or something oh wow. like, that's how into it i was i i was putting that stuff on github and um what i think the most actually was actually your interview section oh, really? so like for yeah so like i mean for where where i applied to uh axon it, it was it was pretty thorough interview process and stars up like you know star interview up the like it was every question was some version of a star it was, oh, so oh, really? uh really really okay it, like every, like i kid you not like there was just <laughs> so it was it really was that uh, and you know you know it doesn't feel like it and then you recognize i'm like oh this is a star question i was like okay mm -hmm. this is probably what they're looking at so oh, nice uh yeah that's that's cool that's good to hear and by the way you're like the first person to mention um the star interview questions like out of everyone yeah. i've interviewed and talked to like so i'm glad to i'm glad to hear that someone used it so yeah. and so um you said it took you about three weeks to get through the whole course or like just the lab section or like i guess how long did it take you to get the whole damn thing i blew through the whole <laughs> thing and then i took i did the whole thing took the exam i remember <laughs> telling my wife i was like i'm gonna i i 
I feel very confident with this. Yeah, let me just take it right now. And I, you know, I, I blew through all that. It, I did when I get to, uh, for me, when I get really hyper focused, especially when there's these, <laughs> these goals. So your, your, your course, like I already knew that, you know, I needed to finish this also before the, you know, the, the Christmas break and New Year's break. So I was very determined to mm. just nail this low so like you know i watched it i watched it two times speed and i i typed it i was like let's see if i could do it again and then without looking at it and i said you know what now i'm ready and mm. i i just bulldozed through that thing it, it was not easy i mean it's definitely not easy like it, there's a lot of material yeah. but i guess coming from a coding boot camp i'm already used to that much information the boot camp definitely allowed me to know what it feels like to just have yeah, yeah, yeah. a task after task after task and you need to you know just keep keep pushing so that you know that was why i think i was successful at least with the course careers it just i had a, a head start i guess with with some of that stuff yeah coding coding boot camp is not easy there's like a lot to digest especially if you're new to coding so that's it's cool that you have yeah. that going in honestly and then from the the time you finished the course to the time you actually got your job um do you know how long that was about let's see november i started applying december i was still applying I was still applying and, you know, December, nothing. Come January, like I, prior to accepting this uh, offer, I was already asked to move to the final rounds of two other places. So it, oh, it went shit. from like zero to like, yeah, yeah. So that's where it went. So like I had to email them and said, you know, I can no longer move forward process. I just accepted <laughs> the offer. So that's how quick it went from like zero to like, oh crap. And now, you know, I'm starting to change my link so that, you know, I'm not putting the, the, looking for work so I, like i don't you know i just want people to know that i'm good now but yeah like uh <laughs> yeah yeah this month i had to tell i had to i had to finally reject two other places so which finally felt good after dealing with like just hundreds or you know you get the email that says yeah we're moving forward or you know or even now unfortunately like the, some of these positions were they were freezing the positions or they're not mm. you know they're gonna wait a little bit longer just because i guess whatever the, the economy or whatever is happening with tech right now so like it was just a lot of that and like you know like you mentioned you just keep putting that resume in there keep tweaking oh uh Again, I'll go back again. Let me step back. I had no idea about an applicant tracking system. Last time I was giving resumes, I was giving the resumes. So that was me applying the job. There wasn't having to send it through, you know, something like LinkedIn. So when I got to that section on the resume building, I, as soon as I found out about an applicant tracking system, I redid a lot of my resume based on a lot of your suggestions. And, and that's when it started biting a little more. Oh, nice. So like buddy of mine also in the training industry out in the West Coast is thinking of transitioning. Mm. And I had to explain to him all this. He was like, what's the best route? I forward him course career stuff <laughs> to him. I have a feeling he's going to sign up. But I told him, like, dude, have you heard of an applicant tracking system? It's like, no. I was like, well, it's kind of like SEO, <laughs> but for resumes. That's how I explain it. <laughs> it's like, really? I was like, dude. I was like, for real. I was like, you have to get past their system to get mm. a recruiter to finally actually pick up and look at it and you know mm -hmm. i get it i know why that exists but it just it, it changed a lot just uh just being aware of that and just again like i said following a lot of your suggestions again so like i just mm -hmm. i mean for your stuff like as if you follow it like like a recipe i don't see why it just doesn't work for 100 percent of people you just kind of <laughs> just have to just go through, and it's gonna hit i think like so anybody yeah. looking for like you know i am very confident that <laughs> you'll get your hits eventually you just have to just you know it's kind of like working out for me you just got to put the reps in i the amount of recommendations i've given for your course and tell and telling people just look at these guys they, they they have it down it's it's just one of those things you can follow directly just do exactly what they say <laughs> and, and you'll be good so. <laughs> yeah I, I appreciate that and you'd be surprised like not a lot of people do um i guess like what i recommend i guess yeah. um but yeah I, I i agree if if people just like took the course and just did everything exactly there i'm sure they would like see some kind of success but yeah i but yeah. i think so like i think so i mean like you know i mean i'm someone you know i'm not in my 20s anymore if i could transition careers after you know at my age and through all this stuff, I don't see how. I feel like this is like one of those, you know, you do this, you'll 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 definitely get that job out of college. Like it, it's just I don't know. I can't I don't have any other words other than to say that this is 
almost guaranteed to get you some version of work, some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Um, are you are you allowed to give like a, a ballpark of your salary, like how much you started? Well, at? I could get. Well, I I'll definitely give what was on the job description. They the the range was from eighty thousand in their lowest geographic market to one hundred twenty thousand in their highest geographic market. Damn. So I'm definitely not on the low end. I'm definitely not on the ultimate high end. So that should say enough about you know busting into tech and you know. <laughs> <laughs> that Kai Sire. So I was like, my jaw dropped. But but yeah, so I mean, that's I, how they determine. I don't know. But but that is what was uh, their job description on their end for software support. So oh, okay. it, it was pretty sick. Pretty yeah, sick. That, so. Yeah, that's okay. very cool. Congrats on that, by the way. Okay. That's really good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and was there like, was there any part of the course, like if somebody's, somebody's watching this and they're like, well, maybe I'll take course careers. Is there any part that you recommend them to pay like extra attention to or like your favorite part or any anything like this? Understanding the, I guess, the, the basics of ticketing systems, I think, I believe. So like yeah. if you really understand one ticket is ticketing system well, you'll be able to pick up others. Uh, so yeah. definitely just knowing that a ticketing system in some places, I'm sure you'll be gauged on how quickly you answer. There's going to be a metric for how many tickets you have to solve or solve or have to answer within your position. But just just really understand the inner workings of it so that I guess should you go to a company where they do train, it'll just be easier to pick up. And then the other the other part, <laughs> the, the interview section, like if you're going for these types mm -hmm. of positions, then that interview section of yours, the tech part, and uh, thank God I didn't really have too much of a uh, like tech questions for that you, but definitely the the behavioral the, the interview section is definitely uh I think where people might easily gloss over because yeah. it's it's very easy to focus on just knowing the the tech, the, the skills part versus just now you kind of have to sell yourself to the person you're <laughs> that's mm. potentially hiring you so. I mean, I am prior to all this, I still was, I'm not the best interviewer just because it's been so long. I could say now that I feel a lot better with my interview skills than when I, than prior to learning about some of that with your videos. But I, you know, knowing how to come up with really clear, concise answers. <laughs> I, I know one of my weaknesses tends to either if I'm nervous or too excited, I tend to be very wordy. So I'm working on just being very direct, just like I said, and it does take practice. You almost have to like stand in front of a mirror and just literally talk it out and, and just yeah. practice it. You know, I would say the the ticketing systems definitely and the interview sections are going to be pretty important <laughs> so. gotcha, gotcha. yeah like in interviewing yeah. it's really easy to underestimate how hard it is to interview because you have to mentally like juggle so many things and you don't really realize it's happening in the interview you just like get out of the interview and you're like what happened but like you said it's good to practice beforehand yeah. so when you actually go to the interview your mind is like at least somewhat clear and you can <laughs> it, you know be concise and all yeah i mean for me some of the things that help me out, you definitely have more time than you think in your head. You feel like sometimes you have to answer fast mm -hmm. and it really is that's your brain thinking there's not enough time and you really have a lot of time. So really just pausing and thinking and then speaking will be a game changer for a lot. I had to learn that, you know, I definitely did have more time than I thought in my head. Yeah. Uh, and for someone like me, I think when I was doing the interviews because uh, a client of mine suggested, you know, when you interview, are you sitting or are you standing? I said, I'm sitting. It's like, well, then why don't you try standing in your next interviews? And for me, who is a trainer and teaches martial arts, that was clutch for me. It, it just made me feel <laughs> like I was in my element standing. So like, mm -hmm. just because it's a, I guess it's a posture I'm very familiar with. Mm -hmm. So like, like, so that, you know, that definitely helped and pausing but and just practicing so like that was you know that was my that would be i guess my advice to other people who are getting ready for some of these interviews like just you know find a, a posture or something where you feel that you're feels natural in, and then everything else kind of feels natural after that but if you're someone who sits a lot and tries to do it standing it's probably not going to happen and vice versa and then, right. you know take your time know that you have a lot of time <laughs> and and just you know think about the question a little bit. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know, like I think you mentioned this, there's nothing wrong with saying, let me think about that for a second. Yeah, just yeah, pausing yeah. a little bit yeah. and then spitting out your answer. So that, that all of like, all, of, like I said, I went through your stuff. I remember all this. So <laughs> that's, that, I mean, it really is. I just, 
practice exactly what you said. <laughs> Shoot. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad it, it, it worked out. You you put in a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, not only like course crews, you did a lot of stuff. And then I, you, you know, congratulations on your like awesome new thank, career. Thank you. So, thank you. Yeah, that was very cool. And then for this is not necessarily course careers related. Just like anyone who is trying to get into IT as someone who is recently very successful. Do you have any kind of final general advice for those people? It's very easy to get distracted with all the things you think you have to potentially learn. Uh, just like I said, you do have mm. a lot of time to really absorb this stuff. You don't have to like, like for me, like example, you know, when I was going through something like coding dojo, I was like, oh, I'm learning Python. I was like, wait a minute, there's Flask. Oh, there's also Django. Wait, oh, there's also this. Like maybe I should be learning that too. Like just stay focused. Focus on the basics and fundamentals, and it definitely carries you for it. And I, from my experience, I, I mean, I guess the only reason I do say that is because as a trainer, it's also easy to get distracted by all the fun, cool exercises. Mm -hmm. And then when they come to me, I was like, no, we focus on the things that work. So a lot, and a lot of it is basics, and then it carries you for it. So for other people out there that are trying to transition in, definitely just focus on one thing first. And then try to filter out a lot of the noise. It's very easy to. You might hear somebody is like, "Oh, I did this and this, and this is why I got to that." Don't it, just <laughs> stay focused, and then just keep it keep it simple. It will go a long way uh, for a lot of individuals, I believe. Uh, cool. Thanks for that. And then can, this is like not related, but what what martial arts did you train? Can I ask? Oh, I teach and train. Uh, the broad term is Filipino martial arts, so you can either hear it as Kali or Nis or Screema. It is very much related to arts like Silat, if you've seen it. So, I mean, I how I like to explain to people, if you've seen any of the Born Identities, what Matt Damon does is some version of Filipino martial arts, where you find whatever's in your hand, and you know you have to turn it into a useful weapon or oh, gotcha. self-defense tool, so that that's oh, what cool. I teach. That's, kind of, yeah. that's, that's dope <laughs> it's pretty dope dude like it I, I love it i love it like i love everything about it so cool 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 yeah thank you so much for this i'm sure you know a lot of people are going to find it really interesting and helpful and useful so yeah thank thanks again of course thank you for having me